Hi you guys, so we are working with long division. This is an example of how to work with really long, long division, long numbers, big numbers that we're dividing. And what you're gonna see is that they're bigger numbers and so we need to be careful where we put our first answer when we are dividing. So make sure you write your steps. Does McDonald's sell burgers regularly? Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and go through the steps and do an example. Let's go ahead and do a 435 divided by 5. So this, if you're following along in McGraw-Hill, um, we are still in chapter 3. This is lesson 9. It's called place the first digit because where do we put that first digit in our answer? Well, before we were able to go one digit at a time, but notice that we can't do that here. I can't put a five into a four. Four is too small. So now we have to think how many times can five go into a 43? So basically that means where are you putting your first digit of your answer? It's going to go above the three. There's not going to be any number here. So where do we place the first digit? That's what all this lesson is about. Make sure you place it in the right spot. If I'm going to have to go and use the second digit and say how many times can 5 go into 43, whatever the answer is, it needs to go right above the 3, not above the 4. Okay? So let me just show you how that was a little bit different from before. What if I had 535 divided by 5? Well, 5 can go into 5, that first digit, it can go in once. So we put the 1 right above the 5. But in this case, 5 cannot go into the first digit, so we have to bring it over and include it in this second digit and place it right there. So be very careful in this lesson about where you place that first digit. It's got to go above the right number. So let's go ahead and solve, okay? So 5 and 43, that doesn't sound like a fact family but I need to see how many times it can go in. Well, I know that five times seven is 35, which is close, but I need to keep going. Five times eight is 40, we're getting closer. Five times nine is 45. Oh, 45 is too high. So the most it can go in is eight times. So place your eight, and where am I placing it? <gasps> Above the three, that kind of looks like an 18, so let me erase that. Where did I put my first digit? Where did I put my first division answer? Because we're in step one. I put it above the three. Most important part of this lesson. And now we follow the steps. Now we multiply. Eight times five is 40. Then I subtract. I have to subtract 43 minus 40, which would give me three. Then I bring down one digit at a time still. I only bring down one digit at a time. It happens to be a five. And now I'm dividing a new number. Now I'm going 35 divided by 5. I'm back at the top. 5 and 35, that's a fact family. It goes in evenly 7 times. So I place my 7 right to the next open spot, right? Right above that 5. And now I multiply. 7 times 5 is 35. Then I subtract, and I have 0. I do not have another number to bring down, so our answer is 87. Okay? So, the most important part, again, of this lesson when working with bigger numbers, where do you put the first digit? You always put it above the number that you're dividing, right? Because our first step is to divide. Let's do one more example. Let's do a bigger number. What if I had 4,527? going backwards, <laughs> divided by 6. Okay, so same thing. Start with D, does. D stands for divide. Can you do a big 6 into a small 4? 6 is bigger than 4. If, six, if this number is bigger than your first digit, you have to include the second digit, which means where do, you put your, uh, where do you place your first digit? It's going to go above that 5, not above the 4 now. We've moved over, okay? So 6 into 45. Well, let's see. 6 times 5 is 30. That's still really low. 6 times 6 is 36. I can probably keep going. 
6 times 7 is 42. Oh my gosh, I'm super close, but always keep going until you go above 45. 6 times 8 is 48. 48 is way too high. So the most it can fit is 7 times. Where do I put the 7? I don't put it above the 4. I put it above the 5 because I did 45 divided by 6. And the most it can go in is 7 times. Now I multiply. 7 times 6 is 42. 5 minus 2 is 3. 4 minus 4 is 0. Bring down. Just one digit at a time. It's a 2. 6 into 32. Well, look, I still already have my math facts up here. 6 times 5 is 30, but 6 times 6 is 36. 36 is too high, so the most it can go in is 5 times. So put your 5 in the very next spot. 5 times 6 is 30. Then you subtract and you get 2. Then you have another number to bring down. It happens to be a 7. Okay, 6 into 27. Well, 6 times 5 is 30, so that's too high. I need to go back down. 6 times 4 is 24. Well, 24 is a, below 27, but when I go to 6 times 5, it goes above 27. It's 30. So I know the most it can go in is 4 times. Place your 4 in the next open spot. 4 times 6 is 24. And 7 minus 4 is 3, and 2 minus 2 is 0. Bring down. Oh, I don't have anything to bring down, but I do have a remainder. Do not forget to write your remainder. So your answer is 754, remainder 3. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoy those examples. Don't forget your steps, and be very careful where you put that very first digit when you are dividing.